one thing we hear a lot is Wing Chun has straight punches and then you see uppercuts or you see hooks and people say that's not Wing Chun. Well number one you see that in the forms anyway, you have an uppercut and a jump kill, so you uppercut and turn, right? So you uppercut and turn back to centre. You see you know, in the third form a hook and body punch, right? You see multiple punches, the uppercut can be any angle. And then the fax out striking and coming back to centre. So you, when you think about this, the Wing Chun punch isn't mechanically stiff, like you see the first form we're showing the mechanical structure, right? But once you get past the, the, the first the first form and develop these mechanical structures, the second form teaches you to turn, expand and contract. So you get all this movement in the body, right? So when you punch then, you're learning that you have the structure, you need to release the structure. But the structure's there already. So you've got you got this structural alignment, but you have to offset the timing, right? otherwise you're stiff. Because even with good structure, if you maintain it too too long, it's beatable. If I maintain this position too long and George pushes towards that to me, pushes towards me. Towards me. He's going to break me eventually. But if I punch, and I keep moving my punch around. He can't push towards me because my punch is dynamic. It doesn't stay in one place. So you can't hold dynamic structure and it's going to be beatable forever. It's not. It's just teaching you the correct angle for correct power. And then the second part is to get to punch from any position. So when I punch from anywhere, I reconnect that elbow to my hip, my fist to my hip, my hip to the ground. So everything is connected. But I don't connect through a, a static, strong position. I connect from a relaxed position. And when I hit, I connect and the release because then there's no feedback. I don't want the feedback to be stuck, right? So I can punch and release my punch, and that's the inch power, right? You punch, you release it, it can be a strike, it can be a hook, it can be any angle any punch you want. That's the difference between a Wing Chun punch. If you're punching other styles where they use a lot of mechanical leverage, they get a lot of power, but then there's, for us, there's a bit of opening time where it's connected and there's feedback to the body. So we, we give away some of the bigger power develop more body power to try and drop our body weight. So there's a there's pros and cons of power, but for us hitting faster and hitting quicker and changing angles, changing punches, for us is what we're aiming to do. So we have a different goal. So this punch is different. Right? So don't be confused with Wing Chun. And then if you if you look at Wing Chun for example and you lock your elbow out and you punch straight and that's all you do, then of course it's gonna be very weak. You can't punch anything like that. Right? If you punch like this, lock your arm out, there's no power in it. Right? If I punch like this, I release release my elbow there's a lot of power, right? It's just a good poker face. But this is not very nice. This, this you don't mind. But this is different, right? You can really feel it going through you. So then you add your hips, you add movement, and you punch, then it's a different story, right? So you don't go in and go straight, and punch straight, and have this straight locking in the body, right? In the form, again, you're just learning about mechanics. And then you have to learn to relax, you have to learn to release, you have to learn to feel, stick, right? All these different things. So we can punch any punch at any angle, as long as our knuckles hit the person, our knuckles connect to our body, then it's like a sweep of sweep of water sock. Right? You want to get that, that, that relaxed fist, right? Any angle you want. It doesn't have to be straight, right?